There are 30 weapons in Red Dead Online, and you really don't need all of those. The mistake I made in Red Dead Online was purchasing every single weapon, thinking that it would be worth the thousands of dollars that it cost me. But it didn't take me long to realise that that really wasn't worth it, since there's only really a few weapons that I actually tend to use. So in this video, we're going to be going through the weapons you should be using in Red Dead Online. But before we do get into all of that, be sure to like, subscribe, add to the notification bell so you never miss any content just like this. So, getting back into the video. We're going to start things off very basic by looking at the weapon wheel. The weapon wheel consists of two revolvers or pistols once you have reached level 25, which we'll get into in a second, and then two sidearms. You can also have a few side weapons that you can craft from pamphlets, but we won't be looking at those in this video. And there is already a video that I've made that goes through all of the pamphlets in Red Dead Online. And if you want to watch that, a link to it can be found in the description. So at level 1, you will be able to carry two main weapons and one pistol or revolver. But once you reach level 25, you'll be able to purchase an offhand holster from the gunsmith, which will then allow you to store either two pistols or revolvers. At the beginning of the game, you'll be given a Cattleman revolver and a carbine repeater, which for when starting out isn't too bad, but there are some weapons that are significantly better. So first let's look at the revolvers and pistols. Most people tend to prefer using revolvers, and I am part of that. In Red Dead Online there are only actually three pistols to choose from. You have the Volcanic Pistol at $270, the Semi-Automatic Pistol at $537, and the Mauser pistol at $600. When it does come to my favourite out of the three pistols to choose from, I would have to go with the Mauser pistols, simply because of the extremely fast fire rate that they have. Obviously for beginners, these really aren't a good choice considering the steep price tag of $600, and then purchasing two of these would then mean it would cost $1,200. And when you're starting out in Red Online, you really won't have that sort of money to spare. So if you had to choose pistols, then I would go with the Mauser pistol, but I really would suggest going with revolvers over pistols. My main reason for this is that revolvers can hold more ammo than pistols. Without any sort of ammo pamphlet, a pistol will hold 100 bullets, whereas a revolver will hold 200, so it just doubles. So with that, let's look at the revolvers. So in Red Dead Online, there are 5 revolvers to choose from. There is the Cattleman Revolver, which you will get one at the start of the game for free, and a second would cost $50. There is the Double Action Revolver for $127, the Schofield Revolver for $192, the Lamat Revolver for $317, and the Navy Revolver for $275. When it comes to the best revolvers to use, a lot of it is actually down to personal preference. There isn't really a certain revolver that is known as the best revolver in Red Dead Online, but I've noticed that the most popular seems to be the Navy Revolver, and I can see why that is, but when it comes to the Schofield, Lamat, and Navy Revolvers, they're all very similar. The only two I really wouldn't recommend using in the long term is the Double Action Revolver and Cattleman Revolver. If I did have to pick a certain revolver to purchase, then it would have to be the Navy Revolvers simply because they are available at level 1 and just feel really nice to use. I used to use the Schofield and Lamat revolvers, but then I tried out the Navy revolvers and I haven't looked back. They do just seem to feel a bit better. So that does just about cover the sidearms. So out of these, I do just recommend purchasing the Navy revolvers. You can purchase these at level 1 and purchasing two would cost $550, which isn't too bad. But just bear in mind that you will need to be level 25 to be able to hold two of these at the same time. So next up, let's look at the rifles. In Red Dead Online, there are four rifles. The Bolt Action Rifle, the Varmint Rifle, the Springfield Rifle, and the Elephant Rifle. So most of these rifles actually have different purposes. The Varmint Rifle is only used for the collector role and sedating animals and if you are hunting small carcasses. Whereas the Elephant Rifle is just used on those big legendary animals because it does deal the most amount of damage. When it comes to the best rifle in Red Dead Online, most would agree that that is the Bolt Action Rifle. Mainly because it is the perfect rifle for hunting. That doesn't mean though that it should be the only rifle you purchase. 
you will need to purchase the varmint rifle and i would also recommend the elephant rifle too the bolt action rifle is perfect for hunting those large and medium carcasses but you will need the varmint rifle for the collector role the naturalist role and for hunting small carcasses and then the elephant rifle is pretty necessary for hunting those legendary animals in red down line through the naturalist role so with that we can see that the only rifle that i don't recommend purchasing is the springfield rifle this is unlocked at level 38 and will cost 156 dollars i just don't think this is a necessary purchase since you already have the bolt action rifle which is better so next up let's look at the repeaters there are four repeaters in Red Down Line, those being the Carbine Repeater, which you will get at the beginning of the game, the Litchfield Repeater, the Lancaster Repeater, and the Evans Repeater. When it comes to repeaters, these don't really have a specific use in Red Down Line. I tend to like using them for PvE, but a lot of people just use them for all-round weapons. There is only one repeater that I would suggest purchasing, and that is the Lancaster Repeater. A common misconception in Red Dead Online is that the most expensive weapon is the best one, but this really isn't the case. The Litchfield Repeater is the most expensive repeater and probably the worst repeater. The accuracy on that is poor and Langast Repeater is just generally better. I would suggest purchasing this after the Bolt Action Rifle, considering that it isn't good for hunting, but for PvE and PvP, this is a great weapon purchase this you will need to be at level 12 and it will cost 243 dollars but it is definitely a purchase worth making there are also two sniper rifles in this game the rolling block rifle and the car cano rifle i don't really suggest purchasing either of these until you're at a later point in the game by that i mean probably at least level 50 where you will unlock the car cano rifle because these are both very expensive the rolling block is $411 and the Carcano is $456. The rolling block will unlock at level 13. Its only real use is for hunting. And to be honest, I don't really think it's needed that much. It is useful to have, so I do suggest purchasing it at some point. But since it is a pretty hefty price, as a beginner, I wouldn't suggest purchasing this. When it comes to the Carcano rifle, a lot of people use this in PvP. So by level 50, you'll probably have enough for this at $456. So I would suggest purchasing this. And like I said, I was just purchasing both of these, but just at a later point in the game. Lastly, let's look at shotguns. There are six shotguns in Red Down Line. The double barreled shotgun, the pump action shotgun, the sword off shotgun, the semi-auto shotgun, the rare shotgun, and the repeating shotgun. I personally never actually use shotguns, but a lot of people do use them for PvE and even PvP. One of these shotguns is actually a bit different to the others. The Sword Off shotgun you can actually dual wield, so you will be able to purchase two of these shotguns and use them in your offhand holster. But this isn't actually the shotgun that most recommend. The one that a lot of people recommend is the Pump Action shotgun. This is a great all round shotgun, which you will unlock at level five and will cost $266. So when it comes to shotguns, I recommend purchasing that pump action shotgun and just leaving all those other ones be. So those are all of the weapons I suggest purchasing in Red Down Line. Those being the Navy Revolvers, the Bolt Action Varmint and Elephant Rifles, the Lancaster Repeater, the Pump Action Shotgun, and the Rolling Block and Carcano Rifle at a later point in the game. So now we have that covered, let's look at different loadouts for different scenarios in Red Down Line. When it comes to revolvers, I would recommend just using the Navy revolvers all the time. I would just always have those equipped since they're useful in most scenarios. The only scenario I wouldn't really see them useful in is for hunting. So when I'm in free roam, I like to use the two Navy revolvers, the bolt action rifle and the varmint rifle. Similarly because for hunting and for some PVE and maybe some PVP, that is a pretty solid loadout. The varmint rifle is good for sedating those legendary animals and for hunting those small carcasses. Whilst for those other carcasses, the bolt action rifle is perfect. But then for doing some PVE missions, maybe some bounty hunting, this one really is a bit of personal preference, but I would rock the Navy revolvers, the Lancaster repeater, and the pump action shotgun. And then for PVP, I would probably go with the bolt action rifle and the pump action shotgun. 
But like I said, that is just a bit of personal preference for those two. And that one's really up to you. So that does just about wrap up things here. Hopefully now you know the weapons that you should be using in Red Dead Online and when they're best to use. So hopefully you won't make the same mistake I did in Red Dead Online and purchase every single weapon that there is. So be sure to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss any content just like this. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.